For the second time in recent days, thieves have targeted cars, trucks, and SUVs in Cleveland. News 5 anchor Tracy Carlos has the latest details now on that crime and what one council member believes the crooks are looking for. While the movie was playing on the big screen inside Capitol Theater Monday evening, there was a surprise ending unfolding for moviegoers outside. Our car was broken into and we were quite upset. And then we realized that there are 23 cars in total broken into tonight. Shattered glass strewn across the parking lot. Shards of it still visible in the daylight. Some of the broken pieces came from Henry Weber's car. Shattered out the window, uh, rummaged through my stuff. Signs warned crooks of cameras, but that didn't put the brakes on the rash of break-ins. As citizens of Cleveland, especially the Gordon Strait District, we should be able to be safe in our cars and be able to come with our family out and see a movie and um, and not have this happen. One victim told us of the 23 vehicles that were targeted here in Gordon Square, the majority of the cars had nothing stolen. But Cleveland City Council member Mike Polensic told me he knows exactly what the thieves were looking for. They're looking for guns. That's what they're doing. Mike Polensic yeah, is chairman of the Public Safety Committee. He's That's calling on state lawmakers to toughen up laws. Increase the penalties for breaking into vehicles. Increase the penalties for car theft. Increase the penalties for carjacking in this state. Our cameras captured the victim's frustration. I mean, it's frustrating. Um, you know, you hear this stuff happening maybe sometimes, but 23 plus cars, uh, it must have been a group of people. I, it so, feels hard to believe it was just one person. Um, and then the second frustration is like the police. You know, where are they when 10 plus people have called? We were there when Cleveland police arrived to take reports from the victims. It is important to point out that this type of crime is property damage, a code three. Code one, crimes like shootings and stabbings, and code two, crimes like a burglary in progress, will always take priority. Police point out there are three ways to file a report. Wait for an officer, go to the district, or file a police report online. I spoke with Cleveland police who believe this string of vehicle smash and grabs are all connected. They think there are several people involved, and right now they tell me they are following leads. Just last week, Cleveland police arrested four juveniles with three guns for shattering windows and ransacking cars in broad daylight. The whole juvenile justice system here is totally broken. Polensic believes the biggest deterrent to crime is police present, but he says the staffing numbers of the Cleveland Police Department is the lowest in 110 years. At the end of the day, there's got to be penalty. If you want to do the crime, then you got to be prepared to do the time. In Cleveland, Tracy Carlos, News 5.